Hello and welcome back to yet another new unboxing video. So the previous one I did was on a uh, Wild Force, I think, and this one Cyber Judge, the other part. So if you see, SV5M. Although technically the M stands for Miraidon and the K, which is the Wild Force, stands for Coridon. So that corresponds to the uh, versions. Kind of interesting in that way. So they just keep reusing K and M, K and M. Just to remind you, anyway, just to date this video, this is uh, shortly after the main Chinese New Year festivities, so yeah, it's been a very busy week. Or the Lunar New Year, depending on how you say it. This thing was so hard to remove, dude. Don't, I'm, I'm kind of afraid that it's been tampered with or something. It's so loose. The shrink wrap was very, very loose. I hope it hasn't been tampered with. Although it should be fine since it's from Amazon. Yep, okay, at least it's not juice boxes. <laughs> but either way, since you're opening this on camera, we should be fine. Now, once again, we are on the hunt for an SAR. And even if we don't get it, we still get three ARs which I'm quite happy with for this. This is why Japanese boxes are superior. So we are starting off with a future Mon. Not bad, not bad. Although I think in this one, there's no like crazy, crazy common uncommon card. Like the, uh, like this. This was in the uh, Coridon one, the past Wild Force one. So apparently that card's worth a pretty penny for some reason. I don't understand. It looks it looks like Omu Rice and it costs almost as much as Omu Rice in Japan. So yeah, you could use that cardboard one to trade for a physical one. Kinda strange. Maybe there's some use to it. So yeah, if you if you're buying the English version, do look out for that card. It's probably gonna cost a fair bit. So if you pull it, oh, I'm looking for this Bianca. So if you do pull that Poffin or Omurice looking thing, then do keep it. Look at the market conditions. I'm unsure how the English one will price this, but black and white remake coming. <laughs> At least that's the hope. It's going to be controversial because black and white was one of the uh, deciding factors in how Pokemon was going to handle their games. They tried a little bit of a... Uh, they tried to change things up a little bit and it went terribly. Although to me, it's one of the more memorable versions. But in terms of the sales numbers, it didn't do so well. Although whether that was fatigue, like series fatigue or anything, I'm not too sure. But personally, I liked it a lot. So I don't know what's this, uh, what's all this thing about oh, making it super like ultra. Uh, accessible is good, but ultra accessible, like I don't know what this level of like dumping down is. It's so bland right now. It's kind of like if you, you're afraid of giving someone a strong flavored di dish, so you end up with no flavor. <laughs> that kind of thing and that was to me sword and shield a little bland until the DLC came out Scarlet and Violet was a little bit better but in terms of design they're kind of lacking especially because they don't have any special uh, special forms like in Ooh, what this? Fari Giraffe? I think? I forgot its name. <laughs> but, okay, we got our first... Uh, our first terrestrialized Pokemon. But yeah, the terrestrialized system doesn't change the look of any Pokemon, so... Kind of bland in terms of design. A-Spec? And as we found out from the last game, not game, box, this is not considered a hit. 
But still, I do think some of the items are going to be quite decisive. And uh, who knows, maybe some of them might see use, so I would keep them first. Although I'm probably selling this to the card stores in Japan when I go over. We'll just see whether the price increases or not, but other than that, it's not it's nothing too crazy. It's not a hit. I wonder if they'll make like gold item cuts with that. <laughs> Damn it. Please don't. Hmm. No ARs as of now. We've only gotten an Oh, okay, I saw something. Might be an AR. Speak of ARs and you shall find. Oh no, it's not an AR. Oh. Okay, okay. Trainer? Is that an item? Who's that? No way! No way! No way! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <gasps> it ends! It ends! The journey ends! The journey ends! The journey! It ends! Okay, I have no... Okay. 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 Can you... I... I'm sh... Can you see how much I'm shaking, dude? I can't... No. No way. No way, dude. No f way. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay, no, no, no way, this, this child is it? No way, screw that shit. You gotta get something better, like this. Japanese sleeve. Oh my god. I mean, it's a Japanese card, so the print quality should be fine. This is likely a good PSA 10 candidate. But, as of now, it's going in my album. Yes, this is the most expensive card in this set because it's a Japanese card and it's a waifu card. So, my god. My god, I can't complain. Okay, we've, we've broken it. We've finally broken it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we graduate from this set. We're done. Although I'll still open the rest of it. Let's see what ARs we get, but... Damn, look at that. This is the SAR. It's all worth it. It's all worth it now. Oh, oh, oh. Months and months of not getting an SAR and we finally pulled it. Holy shit. Oh, God, that feels good. That feels so good, dude. <laughs> Can't stop smiling, dude. If you could see my face right now. Thankfully, this is a POV video, not one of the vloggy videos, so. You can't see my face, and you can't see me smile. Damn, my god, that feels so good to finally, finally get a hit. Oh my god, I've missed that feeling. I've missed it so much. Woo! Fantastic. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Copying Master Sing Sing. Don't know why, I don't know where that came from, so yeah, damn. So that's the hit for the box anyway, so if you have any experience with Japanese boxes that- Oh wow! This is one of the ARs I wanted. This is the same style as the uh, Hisuian Zora. I think it might be the same artist. In VSU I think. But yeah, that's a nice card. One of my chases. Although this one should be pretty cheap, so yeah. But of course... Uh, as an AR, as something in the AR slot, then I definitely don't mind because it reduces the uh, the cost of collection. 
but I definitely like the bulk of the cost of collection is reduced thanks to me pulling Bianca. This, if I wanted to like graduate from this set, then I, I would need this car because it's one of my top hit list. And it's cute, it's cute, the art's good, but not a fan. Charger bug. Oh, no wonder it's here. Alright, let's see. Truth to be told, I quite like this set. In fact, while I'm opening one, I actually bought like five more. But those are for keeping and also for me to reach pool if this went wrong. But it didn't, so I'm not going to reach pool. Those are going into the archives and into my inventory. So, yeah, I mean, five's not a big number. It's not like a whole case or anything, but it's like, you know, I like it. I always liked the future Pokemons a little bit more, so that's why I got this one. This one's pretty cheap. I'm planning to get that too. That's, I think, at the time I checked, $20. So, yeah, who knows? I might just buy the PSA version. I'm quite sure there are people who grade it. And then maybe I can get it for like $40, $50, Singapore dollars. So that's fine. That's a very fair price because that's about the price of the uh, grading. The issue with grading Japanese cards is that there are so many PSA 10s that's not even funny. The only time that you have a lack of PSA 10s are old cards where people don't really take care of them or it's wear and tear. So yeah, generally the print quality for Japan is really really good with the exception of print lines during the peak oh during the peak of the uh, hype because they had to up the production so much that they had to compromise on quality but now it seems to be fine you can still buy this box at relatively close to msrp so it's not going to be a, a english one piece you're not going to double your money the moment you get your hands on one of them so it's not going to be like that but that's good that's honest that's honestly really good for the hobby I like it a lot. I like the state of the hobby right now. I mean, it's good, but it's better, but still not like good, good. Ah, oh, Meltan, not a huge fan either. I wouldn't get the uh, AR unless I were completing a like AR and above master set collection. But yeah, pretty much we've hit all the hits there. Three ARs, one big hit, SAR, and uh, a spec. Yes, I think one A spec is guaranteed per box, so that's that. And we have a, a uh, Terrestrialized 2, so yeah. Very nice, we are just clearing some time, honestly. Two packs left. I might cut some of the parts in the middle out, so just because I'm pulling, like you know, it's gonna be mostly empty. So, <laughs> so I might speed up the middle stuff, and I'm talking and all that. I'm gonna remove that. Yep, blanks. So let's go through our hits for this box. I mean. It's really good. <laughs> Still, oh my god. This is, I don't know what their names are. Iron something. They, they all start with iron, but I just don't know what. But we have the Terrakian, future Terrakian, future Cobalion. We have, uh, what's his name again? Terra, no. Kind of forgot, damn it. But Fire Giraffe or something? This one's, I know it's the reverse or something. We have the A spec, don't know what this card is. We have Meltan, Charger Bug. Nuzleaf, 
evolves into uh god damn everything's leaving my mind <laughs> i know this guy shift tree yes shift tree and of course our grand hit bianca anyway I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. It's been a very long while since I've managed anything like that because like, I just wasn't pulling anything, man. But the curse, the curse has been broken. Maybe the Lunar New Year did it. Maybe the Lunar New Year really did it. It's kind of like, since we celebrate that, so my, the luck changed with that. But yes, yes. Oh my God, we finally did it. Ah, bye.